In 1868, Congress ratified the 14th Amendment, signing into law a document that would wind up at the center of race relations for the next hundred years. Some of America's most famous Supreme Court cases involve the 14th Amendment, including Plessy v. Ferguson and Brown v. Board of Education. In the next hour, we'll take a look at the way the Supreme Court's decisions influenced the 14th Amendment and how, in turn, it influenced America. This is Cases in Controversy. Brown v. Board of Education was actually an amalgamation or combination of several court cases from around the country. Brown v. Board of Education from Kansas, Briggs v. Elliott from South Carolina, Davis v. County School Board of Prince Edward County from Virginia, and Gephardt v. Belton from Delaware. For simplicity's sake, the Supreme Court chose to rule on all cases concurrently. This had the added benefit of making clear the government's position. Segregation isn't acceptable in any state. Today, education is perhaps the most important function of state and local governments. It is the very foundation of good citizenship. In these days, it is doubtful that any child may reasonably be expected to succeed in life if he is denied the opportunity of an education. Such an opportunity, where the state has undertaken to provide it, is a right which must be made available to all on equal terms. We conclude that in the field of public education, the doctrine of separate but equal has no place. Separate educational facilities are inherently unequal. Brown v. Board of Education was the case that finally said that separate but equal is inherently unequal. It overturned the system of education in this country, particularly in the South and what we call border states, such as Missouri. It's really the case that, uh, that put the death knell to Jim Crow segregation as a legal institution. Those who strategized uh, were looking for uh, a Brown decision that would ultimately say that uh, separate was inherently unequal. Brown was written as an education case, but very promptly uh, the Supreme Court held that separate swimming pools, separate water fountains, uh, separate golf courses uh, imposed by government were all unconstitutional.